Sometimes you might just want to let people fight. Otherwise, you might get pinned down while the fight is happening right above you and everyone really should be watching the game. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Fumble. I'm Jackie Ray. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and then you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jackie Ray TV. Now, I went to Petco Field for the first time during the pandemic, and it is so beautiful. Kind of makes you want to just take it all in when there's a bunch of downtime during the game. But not if you're security, because when Dodger fans come to town, you have to keep your head on a swivel. There were so many fights all over the stadium. Most of them had a chance to escalate to epic proportions, but I'm okay with this one. It's just your run of the mill fight. Now look here, TPS, you can't be posting to arrest that man for issuing the punishing blow. If you enter the fight willingly, you should willingly take the fist to the face and move on with your life. But I can't tell what's happening on this next fight. On one hand, it looks like a female fan was trying to jump into this mess of a brawl. On the other hand, it looks like she might have just been caught in the middle. God, fights at games are always stupid to me. Why are you fighting over a team that you don't own and you had to pay to see? On top of that, if you're a Padres fan, you got your butt handed to you twice. Once when the Dodgers beat your team 10-2 to two, and once in the stands. Was it worth it? These two teams meet again on June 30th, this time here in LA, and I think we might have to give security hazard pay for that one. But let me know what you think of all this mess in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.